Hi guys, um, this is a cry for help. I have picked up uh, one of these uh, gamma ray survey meters. Uh, these meters are made to detect moderate to high levels of gamma radiation. They've been retrofitted for gamma radiation. That includes cesium-137 that is being emitted from Fukushima. As dire as the situation is, folks, I want you to ask yourself this one question. If the situation escalates, and God forbid there were fires and more meltdown at the Fukushima uh, TEPCO site, do you trust the lamestream media or your government officials or your local officials to be straight up and honest with you about what is safe and what the actual readings in your area are? I do not. Which is why I picked up one of these dependable meters. They made almost 600,000 of these meters uh, starting in 1963. There's an eBay seller by the name of IBM Faith, and I'll get into that in a second. But the message here is, I've got one, and a fellow researcher has one. I'm outside of Charlotte. He's right outside of Detroit. But the areas that are going to be most affected in the short and long term are the West Coast, uh, Northwest, up around Washington State, Alaska, Canada. I would say the next, uh, just looking at the jet stream patterns, I would say the central U.S., Texas, Missouri, Arkansas, uh, all the Midwest uh, or central states. Uh, that's my primary concern. We don't, I would like everybody to have an identical meter so we're getting accurate readings. Uh, we're not measuring in rads or rims. This is an older, uh, this is an older unit of measurement that's still used. Uh, Rowinch, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, on our site, uh, we do daily readings from the places where we have meters. We've chart and we're collecting data for chart format. Uh, and we also put out a daily YouTube video, and we also have a dosage chart on the site so that you can see um, what the effects are at different dosage levels using this unit of measurement. Uh, PlanetXResearch.com or .org, you'll see the uh, radiation survey meter on either side of the page and I'll bring you here to the daily readings and like I said right now we've got two identical meters one one I own uh, these meters are very accurate they like I said they've been retrofitted and calibrated if you click on the meter itself here it'll take you to where you can purchase one of these thirty dollars folks $14 shipping. He's got plenty of them. $40 can not only save your life and your family's life, but the data that you provide and report to us is invaluable to millions in this country. Um, using the meter is very simple. It takes 1D battery. If you need to recalibrate it in the future, it does come with schematics and instructions. It's very easy to calibrate. All you need is a flathead screwdriver, the manual with instructions, and a simple voltmeter. There's test points. Uh, and it'll tell you what test points and what voltages and how to adjust those. But the unit only already comes fully calibrated. You turn the unit on to zero, and you have a knob down here. Um, I'm highlighting it now. And 
you let the tube, there's a tube inside, you let that tube warm up for a few seconds and you zero your meter same way you may zero out an ohm meter. Um, so you get the needle at zero and the most sensitive reading is what we've been using. Um, you want to use the most uh, smallest uh, multiplier unless that goes off scale. So the smallest multiplier is times 0.1 then it has a multiplier of times 1, times 10, and times 100. So far we haven't measured anything above uh, 0.4. Um, so that would be a 4 on the dial at a multiplier of 0.1 giving you the 0.4 um, units per hour. We would like to uh, have some fellow researchers um, and a few more of the key states to pick up one of these meters and as long as you'll uh, provide us with your daily readings or as often as you can um, we will be happy to include it in a, in a I try to make a video if not every day then every other day some of you may have seen it some of you may have not I'm just gonna play it real quick anyway I just explain the type of meter the areas we're serving the units we are measuring the type of meter the model number. It's made by Victorine um, out of Cleveland, Ohio. We'll have the date and the daily readings. Right now we only have Charlotte and Detroit covered. I would like to expand this to a small network of independent researchers across the country. Um, so if anybody would be interested in helping us out, becoming a, uh, a data collection point with one of these meters, pick one up, simply get in contact with us. Uh, here's a map of the U.S. I'm just using Wonder Map. And let's see, let me try to get an idea of some key places. Kevin Allen, if this reaches you, we could use a reading from Kentucky. I'm in Charlotte. We've got Detroit covered. Uh, we do not have the northeastern U.S. covered. It would be nice to have one or two meters up there. Naturally, anywhere in California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington State, or anywhere up here in Canada or Alaska and then places like Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Texas, Arkansas. Uh, when you look at the jet stream pattern these are probably the key areas. You gotta remember that jet stream is going to be a conveyor for the fallout. Um, so I just wanted to put this out there. It's just a plead for help total cost to use $44. Not only can it save your life, but it could save 330 other million lives. So uh, please consider it. Or if you already have a meter that can measure gamma rays in cesium-137, just contact me. Um, I'll be happy to share my email with you. And we can collaborate your data and uh, as we start collecting data, we'll also provide that in a plotted chart format. And as long as I am able to, I will continue to put out these daily uh, radiation readings from as many places as we have data collection points. You'll be doing a great service to humanity and to your country and to yourselves. Uh, thanks for watching, and I do hope that some consider
participating. It'll be safe for everybody. <laughs>